Good afternoon, everybody. It is Friday, April 3rd, and Friday means modern. And that means we have a lot of decks to look at, 57 of them today. So let's get to it. Our first is from Patsy. Patsy? Patsy? Uh, this is Uroza. And it there's a Deprive main. I don't think I've seen that too much, but Deprive plus Mystic Sanctuary is a nice little combination. Uh, but yeah, here's your Eurosa deck hanging around the top of the format. Iwata with... Uh, what is this? This is interesting. Ayula's Influence. We're making discarding lands and getting bears. Um, Blightsteel, Life from the Loam, Shape Anew, Regrowth. This is an interesting little Blightsteel deck. Um, I've never seen anything like this. This is fun. Life in the Lump, Shape Anew. So you sack an artifact, go reveal cards until you see another artifact, and I'm guessing Blightsteel is the only one in the deck here. Yep, it is. And how are we getting artifacts? We're getting them from Gilded Goose. And that's about the only way. Otherwise, it's removing stuff, it's countering stuff. It might kill you with a rose, but the shape anew into blight steel. That's a that's a nice little combo. Fun stuff there. I'm glad you got a 5-0 with this deck. This is a nice one. Brainstorm 39 with blue white control. Uh nope, we are T uh Just Guy Control. And what do we got here? Lightning Helixes. Well, yeah, this is this is a good old standard Just Guy Control deck. Lauren T with Crabvine. And nothing unusual, really. Stain the Mind is an interesting little choice there. It does have Convoke, which helps. Um, yeah, that is Crabvine. Romarin with the Electro Balance deck. Electro Dominance and As Foretold to cast free spells and Ancestral Vision, Crashing Footfalls, Restore Balance to be the free spells. Greater Gargadon is a great thing to get on suspend before you restore balance because you can get rid of all your lands and cast something and they can't. Atsy with uh, is this Co uh, Druid Company? Devoted Company? Whatever that was being called. We do have Heliod in this deck, Spike Feeder, Devoted Druid. Um, yeah. This is, you know, with the Vizier combo, Finale of Devastation. This is kind of the pick your combo uh, with green-white. Yep, green-white deck. So, uh, Devoted Company there with the Heliod combo in it, too. Guitar 90X with Mardu Shadow. Ingress Rampage. Six discard spells, a couple of Unearths. Yep, good old Marty Shadow. Anything cool on the sideboard? Fulminator Mages, Pithing Needle, nothing too outlandish. Alpine Moon, don't see that that often. Nahuel 10 with Boros Burn. And that's pretty straightforward Boros Burn deck. Nice, good job getting the 5-0. Skunis with Mono Red Blitz. And Kiln Fiends, and Soulscar Mages, and Bedlam Revelers, and all that. I guess Mono Red, is it, I guess it's Blitz if you have Kiln Fiend and it's Prowess if you don't, I guess is the different here, difference here. Uh, either way, they're both, they're both decks are trying to do about the same thing. Get you dead fast. Parrotlet with a Dance of the Mance deck. Wurza, this is Island Mountain Plain. Teamer Wurza? Interesting. I guess it's hard to call it a Dance of the Man's deck if there's only one copy in the deck. But, oh, we got Grinding Station. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the Grinding Station combo. Uh, yeah. Slightly different take on it, I think. Not sure. Interesting. Again, as I've mentioned before, not a deck I'm that familiar with. So, one day I'll, I'll give it a try. C. Dagon with Jund. And this is the pretty straightforward two Bob, two Kroxa build of Jund. 
Nothing unusual here, I don't think. Max09 with Neobrand. Only three Neoforms, not four. Safe right quest. Seems to be a little, a few tweaks here and there, but yeah, Neobrand. Big Luna with Bogles. Any unusual choices in the auras here? No. Numbers are slightly different to some people. All the glitters is one that's been showing up lately, definitely. It's kind of like the fourth or fifth ethereal armor. Um, three ley lines in the side, three Gaddock Teague. That it's usually four ley lines and two Gaddock Teagues, but you know, if you feel like you need it, go for it. Big Luna, nice job with the 5 0. FG Fonseca 182 with Clothis Gruel. This is, I think this this is sort of a Karn Ponza deck. Interesting. So it's trying to do Ponza stuff with the Pillages and the Stone Rains. And then it's doing Karn stuff with Liquid Metal Coating and animating your opponent's lands. So it's trying to get at their mana from a couple of different angles. Four Blood Moons, eight Forests and a Mountain. Yeah, this... A slightly new take on Ponza. I would call this Ponza over a lot of the Gruel decks we've seen on that spectrum lately. This one is kind of more true to the heart of Ponza, I think. Steffi Weffy 215. Nice handle. I like that. Uh, Amulet Titan with three Karns, four Dryads, two Explorers. Insert Rim Shot. I think we are. Pretty standard otherwise there. BBQ42069, dude. That's, yeah. With humans. Um, anything interesting in humans? Straightforward. Unsettled Mariner has started to be a thing more than Charming Prince. It's starting to look like. Um, watch for the humans coming out of Ikoria. There's some interesting takes... I was discussing on the Turn 1 Thought Seas Discord uh, some of the ideas. And in particular, I'm intrigued by the, uh, the General's Enforcer, which all legendary humans you control are indestructible. There's a possibility of an interesting Obzon or maybe um, Esper humans list. Legendary humans list worth looking at, um, but yeah, that that was kind of where my brain's been going with that. But humans always a good time. The pen sword. What do we got going today with the pen sword? We've got an electro dominance deck, and the only free spell I see in it is crashing footfalls. So this is sort of a teamer control deck. I think, as much as as anything. Yeah. Team, team or snow control, kind of. Marco Fabrizzi with four color snow control. Interesting how the pioneer list we saw yesterday, the, the dump, was extremely aggressive. And today's modern deck is feeling a little more controlling, or the modern lists. Big Dan with another Ballista Heliod deck with Coco. This one is Obzon. Are we Obzon? We are Obzon. Grand Abolisher. Interesting. Anafenza. Ranger Captain. So this is a couple of different Heliod related combos in here. We don't have the um, Devoted Druid combo. So this is definitely a, an Obzon Heliod deck. Make, make, Mike, Mayek. I don't know how you pronounce that. With a Wurza, Demir Wurza. Yeah, Demir Wurza deck. With Karn and Cyborg. Quite a bit of Karn today. Interesting. Bumbo Lariat with Dredge. And 
Yeah, per relatively straightforward build of dredge. Always around. Pack of graveyard hate. To bag Tom with another four color snow control list. Slightly different than the one we saw before. This one, I don't remember Ashiok in the prior list. I don't want to scroll back right now and get it. But uh, fewer creatures. I think the last one had 10. Merit Lage's Slumber is an interesting little addition here. Eventually get him with a 2020. Uh, but yeah, uh, another uh, team or snow control or four color snow control list. I do find it interesting that these decks are not running white considering the amount of uh, hate material, sideboard hate material white brings with it. I, I would figure that would be useful. But if you don't want to go to five, a five color snow control deck might be an interesting extension of this. But maybe you just stretch the mana too thin. Don't know. We've got a Kiki Jiki deck here Resto Kiki Kiki Cord. Davius Minimus with the 5-0 with Kiki Cord. He also has Stoneforge Mystic in his list. Devoted Druid combo. So it's got a couple of different combos in here. We've got the Restoration Angel Kiki Jiki. We've got the Devoted Vizier combo. Summoning Trap to help you out. Find your stuff. Along with Cord. So yeah, good little toolbox deck. Albiz with... Uh, Niv Mizzet. Slightly more creatures than normal. 12. And that's probably because he was going with four birds as the ramp instead of Utopia Sprawl. And given the amount of land hate we've been seeing recently, I'm not surprised by this. Um, but uh, this is otherwise a pretty good, relatively traditional um, Niv Mizzet list. Uh, now that Uro is out in a in a fixture in the deck, one wish with a variety of answers in the uh, in the sideboard. Four helix, three trophies. Yep, good stuff. Only two Niv Mizzet and three Bring to Lights made. This is a little light. I've not seen many people be successful going below a combination of six of these two cards. And going three and two here is aggressive, and even with just the one Nivmizit in the side that you can wish for, that's that's quite a statement here, I think. Shito Shotokan with Storm. And this is the Pyromancer's Ascension build of Storm. Have not seen that too much recently. Aria Flame in the side. Yep. Storm. Blue Red Storm. Rinko with. Through the Breach, Gorio's Vengeance, whatever you want to call this. Uh, but it's a, yep, it's a Gorio's cheat out, big legendary stuff deck. Also has four Illargs if you want to do it the old fashioned way, as far as War of the Spark being old fashioned. Uh, but yeah, that, sort of a big creature combo deck here. Will Pulliam pulls in another 5 0, this time with Niv Mizzet. And comparing this one, right, we've got seven creatures. He's got no ramp in his list. So he's not running Utopia Sprawl or uh, Birds of Paradise or Gilded Goose or anything like that. Uh, three Niv Mizzet, three Bring to Light, two Wishes for his sideboard materials, two Boils in the side. That's just kind of hilarious. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, another take on Niv Mizzet. This one, just the seven creatures, as I mentioned before. That seems to be the norm these days. Danny Bambino with a Hate Bears deck. Stoneblade. Is this mono white? This looks like mono. Uh, no, it's green white. So green white, Stoneblade. Fun little Aether Vial list. Mirren Crusader main. There's a lot of black and a lot of green floating around. The Pen Sword's back again with a second list in this build, and this is a Blue Moon list. And two Bone Crushers and two Brazen Borrowers in the main deck. Uh, the second Blood Moon in the side. 
couple of deprives to go with your mystic sanctuaries or your cryptic commands. Yep. Team Ros Roscas Team Roscas MTG with the Wilderness Reclamation list, Nexus of Fates. Um, the less said about Nexus the Fate, the better. This is probably you could call this Team or Scred. Um, but yeah, I'm, I am I, well stated. I'm not a fan of Nexus of Fate. Borgilla MTG 10 with a black red. Nope, we are Mardu. This is sort of Mardu Pyromancer running season Pyromancers instead of young Pyromancer. A couple of Croxes and a fair bit of get my stuff in the graveyard with ransack the lab. You've, there are things you want coming out of the graveyard. A little surprised to not see on Earth, but then there's only eight creatures. Um, yeah. Interesting uh, take here. I would, being me, I mean, this is Mardu, not Black Red, but um, I do love Lightning Skeletal, and I think it's got a place to try in a, in a shell like this. Ignatius Walvis with... A is this Eldrazi in taxes, or is this just the the mono white blink deck? I think we're on mono white blink. Charming Prince, yeah. So mono white stone blade, mono white stone blink. However you want to go about it. Um, another Aether Vile deck here with little white creatures that disrupt and annoy. God's Shadow with another Aetherfile deck full of white creatures that disrupt and annoy. Uh, this one is, I mean, we've got a very different, not very different. We do have Big Thalia in this one. We've got Ranger Captain, Giant Killer, Giver of Runes. This is a little more of the uh, Death and Taxes style list than this being a blink list. Um, yeah, there's different takes on the same idea. Uh, you know, pick the one you like better. Obviously, both can be successful here. Uh, Gliciano with Karn. Eldrazi Tron. More Karn. And more Urza lands. So here's your Eldrazi Tron list for the dump. Golos in the side. Yep. Good stuff. Oxy with Moxie. With a... Uh, we are in Gruel. This is... It's not really Ponza. It's more like a big Gruel deck. I mean, typically you only see the Inferno Titan in the Ponza builds, but we've only got the four Pillages. We do have three Blood Moons. So this is maybe three-quarter Ponza. Boil in the side. Boil and Choke, both in the side. Clothis in the side. I do like that card. Uh, so yeah, uh, on your Gruel scale here, there's been quite a few of those in recent weeks. And here we are with... Rosansky, and this is a, is this a black-white? Oh, it's smallpox. Okay. Uh, smallpox with Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. That might have been in builds. I don't recall it, but it could be there. There's a lot of decks in modern. Pibarg with a Simic Oh, no, we are Teamer. This is another Teamer Snow Control list. Um, no Snapcasters in this one. Fewer Planeswalkers, but definitely big on the control elements, both on the stack and on the board. Deadeye Enemy with a 5-0 with Red Green Eldrazi. Um, any cool stuff in here? We've got two Gruel Spellbreakers. For Bloodbraid Elf, uh, Clothis in the side. Clothis is... I would consider it for any red-green deck, period. 
I, I think that's just a fantastic card. Uh, yeah, so red, green, Eldrazi. Marshmallowski with the... What are we? Ad nauseum. And I think this is a straightforward Ad nauseum build. I honestly don't know the deck well, but it looks like other Ad nauseum decks I've seen. I don't see anything out of place. Nils Fit with... Is this another take on... This is a Phoenix deck. So Pyromancer's Ascension is interesting. So, is it Phoenix? It is. And we are... Is it Charming? In place of uh, Faithless Looting. Ox to get more stuff in the graveyard. Yeah, good to see uh, Phoenix hanging around. I... I Loved that deck when Faithful Sleeting was, was a thing. Uh, so good to see people keeping keeping up faith. Elbow Soap with what looks to be Bant Snow Control. And yeah, this has definitely, of the Bant Snow decks, this has become the go-to build. Bant Snow Blade is falling out of favor and, and the, snow, and the uh, Stone Forgeless builds are being more successful these days. Ryuji89 with Naya Zoo. Wild Nakatles and Tarmogoyfs and Knights of the Reliquary. Oh my. Good old Fun Zoo. Declaration in Stone Main. I, that still surprises me. I still expect to see Path, but. Yeah. It must be working. Balfos with uh, this is Titan Field. No scape shift, no amulet of vigor. So Titan Field. Just leaning on Dryad and Prime Time to fuel your Verdant Catacombs. The deck is is it mono green or is this one green blue? This one is mono green, really. Yeah. Uh, no devotion style things. It splashes other colors, obviously, and you've got the dryads in there to help you out with that. Terrask with elementals. Good old fun elementals. Another Aether Vile deck. Quite a few of them today, I think. Calderon with Titan Shift. So this one's got the Scape Shift in it, no amulets. Yep. So we've seen all three now. We've seen uh, Titan Field, Titan Shift, and Amulet Titan. Foran Magra with Jeskai Sahili, or is this for... Oh, no, this is the visit. Oh, yeah, Foran Magra. Um, this is his specialty. Um, he's a he's a fixture on the niv Mizzet Discord, and he has been using the Sahili combo in a niv Mizzet shell for quite a while now. It's been very successful for him. Um, as I've mentioned in the past, I had trouble finishing matches with with the traditional controlling Niv-Mizzet list and the Sahili combo ends games quickly. Grand Abolisher is an interesting add to this. I've not seen that in a build before. And that's something I want to look into. Um, yeah, this is this is a list I could pick up. I could have fun with this. Goblin King with Goblins. Uh, any fun stuff? We've got Grum Gully. One Frog Tosser Banneret. Not the two or more we've sometimes seen. One Pashalik Mons. Uh, four Munitions Experts. Uh, the four Matrons. No Ringleaders. It's a little interesting. Uh, this seems to be more on the combo side. With the um, Grumgully, Murderous Redcap, and Skirk Prospector is a combo. Right there. Get him dead. Operation Lol with Black White, Eldrazi, and Taxes. And this is a very straightforward list uh, implementation of that deck. Yep. I don't see anything unusual in here. Audemon with Infect. Good old Infect. Always hanging around. Makes all the lists. Sometimes makes preliminary results. 
and Omachek with this is Grixis Death Shadow. No Royal Scions. But yeah, this is Grixis Shadow. Somehow or another, it's kind of fallen by the wayside in the in the shadow hierarchy. Um, might see a resurgence. I mean, there, there's four different shadow builds, so pick the one that fits your play style best. Uh, here's another gruel list that's light on the Ponza elements, just the three pillages. A little bit bigger than some. Um, Questing Beast, Glory Bringer. So this is kind of a gruel mid-range deck as much as anything. Um, definitely been the heavy aggro deck of choice recently. Has been some form of, of gruel. Madden Legend with a... Is this a... This is a... The Black Red Unearth deck. I got a little thrown when I saw the Spike Jesters. That is not something I had normally seen in this list. But if you're going, you know, if you want your haste threats, you've got your Skelemental, you've got your Spike Jester, and you've got your Unearth to get them all back. Um, bobs and Croxes. Yeah. Black Red Unearth. Kind of a new archetype that uh, people have been messing with, particularly since Croxa came out. Jumda, Jumba with Mono Green Tron. Sundering Titan in the main to kind of fight against all the decks playing Dryad of the Lycian Grove. You can pretty much wipe out their mana base when you cast that. With uh, no side effects on yourself, usually. Sometimes you might have to kill your own forest, but unusual. RTOM 76 with Storm. And this is the more common... This is not the Pyromancer's Ascension list. So, two Grape Shot main, that's your kill con uh, empty the warns in the side uh, but yeah, good old gift storm Alberto SD with Bushwhacker Zoo this is the fast end of our Naya uh, Naya Zoo decks is there anything in here Clothis is the only 3 drop I think we shouldn't have a... Four. Oh, we do have... Well, Rampager. You're really only using that for the Blood Rush. So, yeah, there's there's no four drops in this list, really. I mean, in a pinch, you can cast the Rampager, but you really don't want to. Uh, Junior 97 with... Interesting. Black Red, another Black Red Unearth list. This one with Yogmoth. That's an interesting... Um, tweak to this. It's just a one-of, but it does have a discard activated ability. And, you know, discard something that you're going to unearth. I, I like the sound of that. Popper Ponderings is not playing Popper. It's our last list for the day. This is... What Death Shadow list is it? This is Traverse Shadow. So is this the Jund list? No, this is four color. So we've got the blue in there. Blue, green, any red? Oh, this is Sultai Shadow. Interesting. Nope, we do have red, but Teamer Battle Rage. So it's four color. <clears throat> yeah, so four color shadow. We saw Mardu and Grixis and four color. We did not see Jun's shadow this dump that I recall. But yeah, that's our last list for the day. Uh, some good stuff in here. In particular, I want to go back to the uh, Blightsteel deck here. That just, that looks like a kick. I, I can only imagine what their opponents were thinking, seeing what was going on with this deck. Gingerbread Cabin? I didn't notice this the first time. That's amazing. Huh. Great little list. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing here, uh, do please like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when my latest video comes up. And thanks for hanging out with me here today. I appreciate the time you spend and walking through these lists with me. And have yourself a great weekend. Do stay safe out there. Be socially distant, etc., etc. But do try to get out of the house. Get some of that vitamin D. Uh, hopefully as now we're into April, the weather's improving where you are in the northern hemisphere. 
and you're able to uh, get out a little bit and get some sun, get out of the house. Um, we'll be back on Monday with the next Pioneer Dump. And until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.